Hello, everybody, and welcome to Benjamin Magnus and Buddhist Verbaugh play Hearts of Iron 3, not 4, 3, Black Eyes version 8.16, which is the newest version. Say hello, Bob. 8.61. Get it right, Oh, it. fucking hell. Yeah, 8.61. Already done it wrong and everything. Yeah, I already messed up. But, excuse me there, uh, me and Bob will be playing as Germany and Japan. Um, Bob is playing Germany and I'm playing Japan. I played Germany numerous times before, so I think I'm going to leave it in his capable hands. No, no. That's that's the wrong word choice. Yeah, uh, we are playing on normal difficulty. We've already gone through the majority of the pre-game Black Ice settings. Uh, so now it's 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 on us. To do the stuff. Well, except for maybe a, 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 a hard China, because I think you accidentally clicked hard China. Yeah, we were setting the difficulties, and we're just like, let's, let's put everything on normal. And then um, I'm playing on, on, on windowed mode, because I find it more stable on my rig. And uh, windowed mode, if you don't have the screen lined up exactly perfectly, the cursor doesn't line up correctly on the buttons. So I had the cursor on normal, but it was like it was like it registered a little bit lower. So I'm not sure if I hit hard Japan or hard uh, China or not, but we'll find out. We will find out. Where do I get the outliner back? Uh, it should be a little tiny button in the upper right hand corner. Well, plus or minus. There you are, you son of a bitch hiding from me. OK, more efficient laws can be enacted. Specialist training, training laws, advanced training. Specialist training. Yeah, I think is Japan um, like a small cadre of very good units is going to be the, uh, the shtick. I think I'm using it still a little too high, so pardon me. Or, well, I... I am rebasing all my aircraft. Now, if I remember correctly, in, uh, in Hearts of Iron 3 here, there is no limit to how many aircraft you can have in a, a single airbase, right? The, there is not, but you'll run into supply problems. Remember, supply is the thing in this game. Well, if, a consequential supply is the thing in this game. Yeah, I still got my... Uh, I gotta get this lined... I gotta get it lined up correctly on the screen, or it doesn't work correctly. There we go. I should probably also switch to my nice mouse, too, while we're doing this. Where is this? Uh, uh, you must exist there. There okay. we go. And I do apologize if there's screen tearing on my end. Um, it's 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 the it's the side effect of recording on screen capture mode instead of direct X mode. All right. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the normal Magnus thing, and I'm gonna grab all my planes. I'm gonna grab all my planes, and I'm gonna put them in one spot so I can you know get them all nice and organized. That's how I do it, at least. That's how I do. Yeah, I don't need this much reinforcement. I don't need that much supply. Definitely need more production. All right. I don't need that many consumer goods. Oh, I've got ships to deal with. Alright, so grab all the ships. I don't know where they all are, but I'm working on it. And everybody go to uh, uh, Nagasaki. That doesn't seem like a bad idea at all. And let's go back to air units and see if I, I missed some. Alright, this music is going to drive me nuts. I might just have to turn it off because iTunes sucks. <laughs> Did you go to Hearts of Iron 3 and just plug all your music into it? Yeah, but the the, the problem is, is, is that I... I've got the volume at like 1% and it's still too loud. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could also put that in your uh, your volume mixer on uh, Windows. Yeah. It's just a little, you know what, I might just have to, you know what, fuck this. I'm just going to turn it off and I'll dub it in in post-production. Sorry guys, I know dealing with a little bit of technical shit at the beginning here. Um, so do we want to, I don't know, uh, unpause? No. Sure. No, research. Fuck. Be research. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> That's actually what I'm in the midst of right now. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. Well, you're, stuff. you're Germany, so anything industrial or, 
you know, uh, I don't know, um, tanky. Tanky. <laughs> yeah, tanky's good. Sure, let's go ahead and get AFV tracks and suspension figured out because I can't do anything else otherwise. Anything that will increase like production efficiency, IC or leadership should be like a number one. Let's see what do we got here? Yeah, Manpower. That should all be under command then, right? That would be under nation. Here we go. Some basic education. There we go. Mm -hmm. we'll repair Teach rate. Teach all the little, all the Hitler youth two plus two. Yeah. Uh, industry. I don't know if atomic research is something I care too much about. Supply production, yes. Radio, yeah, let's figure out how to make radios. That's a good idea. Industry, yes. Uh, road network, yes. Airports, yes. Advanced landing defense engineering allows construction of fortresses. Uh, I don't know. I think I could skip rocket test sites. That doesn't seem terribly you could, important. You could have castles on all the islands in the Pacific. I could. But small arms, support weapons, infantry guns, infantry anti-tank weapons, because I'm probably going to end up facing the Soviets. Uh, see, body armor. Max speed down. But truck and prime mover, yes. Camouflage, yes. I'm Japanese. So, that's a good idea. Huh. I am already... I've already got 19 of 10 projects set up. But artillery, yes. Artillery, artillery. Uh, heavy AA guns and anti-tank ammunition. Armor, I don't know. Well, we have to wait a couple days before we figure out what kind of armor we're going to be using. Because that's an event thing that pops yeah, up, right? it is. And planes are things that are important. Okay. So, shall we... Shall we? Yeah, go for it. Okay, okay. I don't think I, I, don't think I can command time, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. I, I am not Time Lord in this. I can, I can pause, but I can't okay. do anything else. So, speed... Two. Okay, we're speed twoing. Let's see here. I want. Let's go with one whole officer. One whole officer doing what? Officer things. The issue of Korean independence. We're allies. You should be sharing information with me. Cooperate, cooperate with uh, Korean imperialists or defend the status quo. Gain manpower, gain energy. Korea will no longer be a puppet. Oh, so if I do this, Korea is its own thingy. If I do this, I tell them to go fuck themselves. So, go fuck yourself, Korea. <laughs> and that's how the Japanese-Korean war started. <laughs> oh my God. Great kind of stuff that just popped up here. Great Depression effect. I see. Minus, yeah. We, oh, we, I lost the Great Depression effect, so I should have actually more research available now. Fascist Militia Brigade. And I got the engine type aircraft production level and tank armor type uh, a doodle in right now. Thinking for me, I'm thinking light protection for my aircraft. Type of engine. Let's see. Diesel, better do performance. We, do we want revolts? Um, yes, because that's, that's kind of integral. Okay, I'm going to go light aircraft, uh, definitely light aircraft, type of engine, uh, gasoline is supply bonus and speed, so I'm going to do light and gas, and cast armor. I decided to go ahead and remove battle commanders, too. Okay. So, light gasoline... But that only affects me, though, I think, because it was specifically removes these brigades. Uh, type 90 240mm railway gun? For the Emperor! Yes. Uh, government... Uh, uh, uh... 
secondary <laughs> focus. <laughs> you say that it's pretty good. I think it's because you say it so often. It's just like the only thing that came to mind was I am the Senate. When I you said am that, right? the Senate. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Government nationalizes private sector. Hmm. So, so many pop ups. Do you have like a million to deal with right now? I do. Yeah, I've got I've got quite a few. I've got the uh, machine fabrication that's asking me about stuff in Augsburg and Nuremberg. I've got script invasion choice, which I think that's affecting all of us. I hit both yes for invasions because that so allow. Okay. Yeah, just it could because the, you know the AI can't do naval invasions in this game or Hoi Four, so I wouldn't know because I was France. <laughs> And found myself fighting as militia in, in Africa, so I wouldn't know. I'm gonna do the government nationalizes uh, the private sector. I was shocked though in uh, in various conversations that you don't recall you were you didn't remember that we played this multiplayer. Yeah, forgot. Like, all, I was I was just like I was kind of disheartened. It's just like oh, well, what? I couldn't. I th for some reason I thought it was vanilla. I thought we were playing vanilla. Well, we had played vanilla initially. Yes. We had done a Germany, Italy, where Germany took everything, despite the fact that Italy did some fighting in some places, but no, Italy doesn't get nothing. <laughs> nothing for Italy. I remember that. Uh, something that's really, really important to get is if you go to doctrines and then strategic um, for, for tech, superior strength, that allows you to put more brigades in... Um, uh, uh, divisions because it all unlocks superior firepower and m more it usually is better because of combined arms bonuses where was the thing they do with the what uh tech and then go to strategic strategery which is down near the bottom strategery yes yes ooh damage control systems for Japanese carriers yes please Nah, who needs those? It's not like that's why almost all the Japanese carriers went down the way they did. Like there's a there's a a great number of Japanese uh, uh, capital ships that went down due to light battle damage because they didn't have like proper damage control systems. Uh, there's... Now I've got a whole bunch of research available here. Yeah. 11 projects at 44 are possible. Okay, well, we need to research all the things. Yeah. Because um... Black Ice plays out very historically, right? Their, their yes. events are going to pop up for everything, right? Okay, so my, my need for diplomacy and espionage is going to be low. Yeah. Um, espionage can be important to keep, uh, like, spies out of your, out of your, out of your grill, out of your business. Right, okay. So that but diplomacy, you right. can usually keep that pretty low. Armor. Uh, I don't think armor is going to be terribly important for me, but I should probably at least get some, like, light tanks. Figure it out. But it's on the... It's, on, it's, it's down. Um, Send the Malta Burma. That, what could go wrong? Uh, having your officers... Keep, keeping, like, a... Um, uh, like a buffer of your officers, though, so you're like, I don't know, 105% or so. Super important, because you could take really big combat debuffs for having a bad officer ratio. Yeah, we'll, listen, we'll up this, like, 2.5 then or something. Yeah. I've and, so you got and, more research than I know what to do with, that's for sure. Oh, you know what I completely forgot about? Building things! Uh, Production, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh everything funded, I have six IC to devote to production. That's wonderful. Um How do I do things? I don't remember a lot of things in this game. Infrastructure super important, especially for you. It's so like, if you look at the infrastructure, it's like, Germany's all green, and then the second you hit Russia, it's just like, nope, red. Alright, 
right, so... A lot of this text is like 1937, and we're not in 1937. <laughs> no, we are 1936. <laughs> um, you can... Uh, the way the tech works is that you can uh, take some, like, 1937 tech without too much of a, a penalty because... Um, you know how there's the head penalties for researching stuff that you don't, you know, you, it's, that, it's not like right. up to snuff yet, but if you started in 1936, it gives you that a head penalty, but it, as soon as it ticks over to 1937, it basically refunds that, uh, what, what was spent. So if it finishes in 37, you're not going to take a, a penalty basically. Uh huh. Mm. Japan does not have much industry. So I'm going to actually build some industry. Like, go to my cities and tell them, hey, you need some fuck factories, because that's important. Kyoto. You don't have, I don't have a single factory in Kyoto. Well, get on it. Right. So, which this also for production like in vanilla you're able to just queue up factories if you wanted to and then just throw them down here you actually have to go go to the map province by province yeah. and throw them down and what's the fucking hotkey for that uh hotkey would be capital i capital i all right so i'm actually going to queue up a bunch of factories even in career the secessionist region <laughs> yeah it's okay i told them to fuck off they're fine they're, they're happy with it all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna unpause if you don't have a objection. I I am currently spreading around industrial capability for everybody, so go ahead and unpause at your leisure. Oh, the tiles! A lot of this is going to be moving, moving uh, troops around and stuff like that while I get ready for the invasion of Poland. I mean, defending the Eastern Front. <laughs> I think you mean reclaiming East Prussia. Deutschland, Deutschland, Deutschland. All right, so let's... Now, I'm really, I'm just throwing down kind of one factory here and there. Is that kind of a good way to be doing this here? I have so limited experience. The last time I literally played Black Ice for Hoi 3 was as France. <laughs> like, <laughs> literally the last time I played it. I'm kind of throwing down a, like a factory in like a bunch of different provinces. I'm assuming like, oh my goodness. Oh, well, yeah. I'm yeah. assuming that's the way to do it. Yeah. They got a whole bunch of, oh, hey, look at all those events we just got Yeah, again. yeah, the oh, future of Manchuria. Shoot stuff. <laughs> sounds like a really fancy, like, fancy, like, um, pastry. I smell Luftwaffes. I smell Luftwaffes. I think I want to keep one battle commander. All right. Do I want to inherit Manchuria? That would make things easier for me. I'm going to say no to the SS. Ooh, oh my. Yeah. Screw you, SS. Keep the status quo. Well, if I bolster Manchuria, they get stronger. And they get more industry, but that's that's Manchuria. Uh, mm. Mm-mm. Give it to me. <laughs> <I'll> Japan annex <laughs> Manchuko. <laughs> okay. More efficient laws can be enacted. What, what does it want me to do? Uh, basic mobilization. Yes, please. Uh, which law is that? I don't remember. Basic mobilization. Economic. Full civilian economy, my ass. Alrighty. That actually gives me more IC to work with, too. Oh, but all the upgrades. Oh, there's so many upgrades. I forgot how out of date everything is. So as I was saying, I'm kind of throwing like industrial capacity like one at a time in all these little provinces here. Is that really kind of like the good way to be doing it? Or should I be just like stacking up in all the provinces as, as, as high as I can? Uh, well, the way that strategic, you're going to get the shit bombed out of you, FYI. Um, and the way that the AI strategically bombs places is that it, it just does a little calculation and looks at industrial strength in, in a province versus AA strength in a province. So if you put in a lot of uh, industry but no AA, they'll bomb the fuck out of it. 
If you put in a lot of industry and a lot of AA, they'll probably ignore it. If you spread it out and you put in a lot of AI, AA, and, well, you put in like a little AA and a little industrial in a lot of areas, then it'll just kind of broadly uh, uh, space out. Um, so it depends on how you want to defend your territory, I guess? <laughs> there is no defense, only offense. By Krieg hard enough that they won't come <laughs> after me. I, 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 I've never blitzed uh, as hard as that Krieg ever ever was. Oh. If I recall correctly, submarines make sense in Hearts of Iron 3. Uh, right? They do. Because supplies are a thing. Because <laughs> what? Well, actually, in Hearts of Iron 4, you can actually sink supply. Okay. It is a thing. It is a thing. It's a little more abstracted <laughs> in Hearts of Iron 4, but it is there, and you can actually starve out uh, units that are cut off by land by sinking convoys at sea. So it, it is a thing. No, I actually but loaded up points. abstracted, and there's not a good way to like actually tell what like if it's happening at, at a rapid pace or not. Because everything about Hearts of Iron 4 all plays off of abstracted efficiency, right? Like, there's uh -huh. in Hearts of Iron 3 here, there's very much, I see my sub moving from this sea province to this sea province to this sea province, right? And it's it's sinking stuff along the way, right? That's happening. In Hearts of Iron 4, it's all about those efficiency numbers playing against each other, is what it is. Yeah. Which I, I don't know why it's that way. I, I would much prefer like the air system and the naval system from Hearts of Iron 3 into Hearts of Iron 4. I, I imagine it was done just to kind of cut down on, like, compute cycles, probably. But um, I, I think it was done just to streamline and make it easier for people to, to deal with. Um, I mean, the, the air system in this is... Do I want personality effects? Oh, oh God, no, the Verbach wants to upgrade. Do I want personality effects? Yes. Do you want personality effects? <laughs> Do your worst, Stalin! And then Veramacht upgrade events. To activate a series of historical Veramacht division upgrades, a number of Luftwaffe HQ reorganization it's events. Luftwaffe's. Uh, sure, we will. We will allow events like that. I forgot that we actually have to deal with the uh, command structure now. And uh, division division makeup super important. <laughs> Not just seven infantry and two artillery. Yeah. <laughs> well, be I had somebody on my uh, on the Discord. Which one thing that that I that I do keep in mind is that everyone has varying skill levels when it comes to uh, you know games. You know that's that's just a thing. And someone had asked me on uh, Discord um, through private messages, I was like, "Hey, how do I how do I do a world conquest as communist France?" It's just like, well. Um, are your divisions laid out as 7-2? Yeah? It's like, well, what's the problem? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really, all it comes down to that has what order you want to conquer shit in Hearts of Hearts 4. Yeah. You know? oh, Portugal, no, Italy wants to trade things. That's right. This is a trade agreement thing. I forgot about that. Yeah, you can actually trade resources. Oh my god. I, I gotta say, because I actually, I launched a Poi4 the other day, and I was thinking about, because I ha right now, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like in a lull of series, because I, I don't want to start something that's, that then get overrun by new content that's coming out soon. So I started out Poi4, uh, and I was like, I could crank out a Hoi 4 series real fast, and I was gonna do like a Black Ice one, and I loaded it up, and I turned on the air map mode, and then just immediately quit the game. I was like, nope! Nope, not dealing with this shit again. So I'm not touching Hoi 4 until the, until the next uh, DLC comes out. And they actually do some work on the air air map mode, or the air mode. Basically, air everything in Hoi 4 because it's terrible. <laughs> well, there is there is a new air UI yep. coming yep. for Death or Dishonor. Mm -hmm. What exactly that looks like, I know. I'm not 100% clear on what it is. I know supposedly they showcased some of it at PDXCon. And I've tried looking around for a little bit of it, but I can't find any material on it. Well, the way I understand it is that they are actually subdividing the air the air regions so that they're not like thousands and thousands and thousands of kilometers in each direction. Uh, because the issue with that is having air zones that are so freaking huge makes the most important trait of an airplane its range. Because range directly affects uh, efficiency of combat in an air zone while they're on a mission. So if you have air, uh, you know, if you can only hit 10% of the air zone, 
everywhere on the map, even if the combat is right next to the, the airfield, you're suffering a 90% penalty to efficiency. So the only thing that matters is making sure your planes have a range to hit the entire air zone. But they're subdividing the air zone, so that's not really going to be as much of a problem anymore, I hope. I'm looking at you, Central Russia. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, oh, especially, like, where there's a lot of air zones that are really oblong, so if you have to fight through it lengthwise, <laughs> it's really terrible. Because even if you're right on the edge of it and you're fighting on one side, if you can't reach the back of it where nothing's happening 2,000 miles away, you suffer a penalty. Um, and the air, uh, the actual air combat is going to be a little, I think they're actually taking some of the abstractness out of it, because air combats will actually appear on the map. Like, you'll actually see where combat's playing out instead of just you know looking at a graph and going oh there was a spike here and then a dip here over time so i'm <laughs> hoping hoping that's just doom stacking aircraft yeah i mean that i mean doom stacking is is how you play hoy 4 you doom stack everything and hope for the best um just and, and also remember strategic redeployment in this game is extremely important how it works and its its mechanics are very very key. Um, if you when you if you click a unit and then right click, it brings up a contextual menu. Historical buildup of the Luftwaffe. That ooh, I I had historical uh, 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 buildup of the IJN. I went with that. Yes, Soviet Union, I will buy your rare materials. That is extremely important for Germany. That's that's kind of where uh, where you run out of shit, is rare materials with Germany. That, uh, factories are also kind of a balancing act. If you build too many factories and then you run out of material, they take an efficiency uh, debuff, and then they're pretty much useless. Like, you, rare materials is super important, and for me, oil. So let's see, how how many linear kerfuffles to get to Romania from here? Can I even get can I, can I inter territories on the map at the same time? Zoomed out all the way? The unit, the unit of the kerfuffle, I fucking forgot about that. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a standard unit of measurement for everything in the, in, in the nation of Magnus. Yeah, the, for the Turkish Empire in the 16th century, as I recall. <laughs> Alright, let's crank this up to three. Oh, getting crazy now. Well, we've passed all of 11 days in the last 26 minutes. I see wasted. What am I wasting it on? Oh, upgrades. No, not upgrades. Where the fuck am I wasting this? Uh, reinforcements? Yes. Um, the, what I, I, I manually uh, do my industry, and usually what I do is I lock upgrades to the max so that, you know, if, if I have the IC for it, uh, I lock reinforcements upgrades supplies and consumer goods to the max and then leave uh, production floating and that leaves that that maxes out everything and then any excess goes into production which is really easy to do all you have to do is yeah, click was, on the need i was producing so many too many toasters is what was going on there in the in the background mm -hmm. there were some really happy german citizens i'll tell you what <laughs> a toaster for every man woman and child <laughs> but we have seven kids a toaster for every man woman and child the United States wants to give me a thing. Uh, diplomacy, automate. I got automate trade on. Okay. Let's see, trading for some oil. Tech is going. Politics are politics. Um, changing out some of your ministers can be real. Can be really good too, because a lot of times there's more. There's there's ones that better suit you. So you might want to take a look at politics at some point too. Let's see, Chief of the Army, Chief of Staff, let's see, okay, those are the same, Head of Intelligence, ooh, see, I like this guy, I see plus 2.5%, select that one. Money, espionage, yep, you, Armament Minister. I'm gonna, well, let's see. Ooh. Air and land build speed. 
I'm going to, but you're costing me money, so I'm not going to use you. Foreign minister. Let's see. Density to drift. Threat impact. I don't care if people think I'm threatening. I'm Japan. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to be kind of poking the world. Well, China. Urgh, so scary. Uh, well, China. I love China. I love China. Got a volunteer army, state press, got mixed industry, basic merbalization. I think we're good. All right, a little bit more icy. Merbalization. Actually, all you guys need to move down to here. Do you remember how um, strategic redeployment works, Bob? Like the mechanics behind it? Uh, what's well, just a? It's a. Sh is it shift click? No. It's right. Yeah, you, control click. Uh, right. Yeah, here we go. Control click. Is it control? Click? Control right click. Control right. Control right click. click, and there's a box that pops up. Yeah. Um, the thing. The thing to remember though is that the supplies, because this is basically loading all of your troops up onto trains. Um, right. When they get to where they're going, they need to be unloaded from those trains and reorganized, which means they're going to have the the debuff or the the cooldown combat cooldown you won't be able to give them new orders for however many days um so you can't strategically redeploy them into combat like you can in hoi 4 you have to do it behind the lines wait for them to reorganize then march them forward and also their supplies do not move on the trains with them their supplies move along the normal supply uh supply lines at the normal pace which is one province per day um so if you re strategically redeploy them into a low supply area, they will arri arrive, use up their stored supplies, and be in out of supply real fast. So you can't just be like, you go here and fight now, because that's not how that works. No, well, maybe it's, that's how it works in Japan. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm having a hard time deciphering what exactly the command oob is here um, for everybody. <laughs> it's a little confusing. <laughs> once, you, once you get it organized, though... Um... One thing I I, uh, I know not to do is... And this is actually when I, when I first picked up Black Ice. I had done... I started trying to do a uh, uh, an Italy campaign. Mm -hmm. And I had... It, typically, what I, I remember doing in, in Hoi Three Vanilla is just blowing everything up and then just <laughs> re reorganizing the entire yeah, don't do the that. entire um, the entire command structure. And I recall in in Black Ice for Italy, suddenly there was the death of Mussolini, and I I realized Died. it was like much later that I actually deleted the Mussolini unit because mm -hmm. the leaders are actually like a unit on the board. Yep, yep, they are. So, I was just like. Oh, that's why I got the death of Mussolini and the entire country got thrown into chaos. That's why that was a thing. Yeah, that happens. Why can't I merge all these units together? Okay, well, let's merge the ones I can merge together. Make this a little easier for myself. So that's a... I think those are all flying boats. Naval bo Oh, there's some naval bombers and flying boats. So you, flying boats, are very good at spotting submarines. And attacking them. Now what we're gonna do is go. Actually, these are good. Those are good. Very nice. But we are out of time, Bob. Oh no. We passed twenty-seven days. And just and all basically all I'm doing is reorganizing units, but I'm very glad to be playing Hoi Three again. <laughs> but well, because re, like reorganizing units and caring about the oob is actually something that matters. <laughs> I'm getting I'm trying to get into it. It's just like oh, I, just, I didn't realize how much housekeeping was ahead of me now on this one. Watch, well, I play in <laughs> Russia sometimes. <laughs> I just don't want to think about that right now. That's like, I mean, playing Russia, there's you gotta you gotta devote like six hours to organizing your oob. But anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channels if you have been enjoying. 
And if you'd like to watch um, the other perspective, see what's going on in Germany, or if you're watching Germany and you want to see what's going on in Japan, you can click and the link in the description below and visit the other channel. And we will see you all next time. See you later.